Yo, what's good, everybody? In today's video, we are going to be going over the top five ways to improve on controller fast in Fortnite Chapter 5. I've been playing on controller coming up on six years now, so here are some of the best tips that I have learned throughout that time. And I'm going to be trying to share every single one of those tips with you guys in today's video. Real quick, for studio starts though, I'm actually doing a V Buck giveaway every single month for all of 2024. January is about to end, but if you guys want to enter the V Buck giveaway, you still can. All you guys have to do is subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, drop a like on this video turn on notifications and then the most important part is making sure that you are using code kdog in the fortnite item shop the reason why you want to use code kdog in the fortnite item shop because every single 100 people that use my code i will be giving back 10 dollars in v bucks to you guys we're almost at 200 people using my code so it's looking like we're going to be giving back 20 dollars in v bucks to you guys this month once you guys have completed all those steps you can either comment down below done or you can dm me proof of that on my twitter my twitter is just actually kdog just go follow me over there and then dm me proof over there with Without further ado though let's get straight into this banger video all right so the first tip i have for you guys is something that i see so many of my friends that play controller and just so many of people that i know that play controller struggle with is not changing your sensitivity too much and find a sensitivity that you like and just stick with it because as soon as you start changing your sensitivity too much it will ruin your aim it'll ruin your building and editing consistency and you just won't be as a fluid and consistent controller player and i've been literally on the same sense for three years now and i seem like i'm still being able to to improve on it with my aim my edits everything is just so much more consistent than when i used to change my sensitivity all the time and try to play faster like if you're not a fast player you're just gonna have to accept that and you're just gonna have to go on a slower sensitivity focus more on aim if you are a fast player maybe still lower your sensitivity a little bit i don't know why people want to be playing super high senses where they can't hit a single shot but they can edit and make it look cooler like at the end of the day your goal is to have better aim than mechanics like if you ask any pro if they would rather have better aim or better mechanics they would all say better aim so definitely prioritize aim when over sensitivity because literally if you're able to hit your shots you will win more fights than just being able to be a flashy edit. next up is the actual way that you are going to organize your inventory if you're on controller this is just the most optimal way to do it and it's the way that everybody should do it in my personal opinion it is putting your pump in the first slot your smg in the second slot and then your heels in the third and fourth slot if you carry a sniper put your sniper in the fourth slot and then put your ar in the last slot this should just always be how your inventory should go there's no if or if ands or buts about it it just should be how it goes if your smg or if your pump is in like the second slot and your ar is in the first slot you're literally like as soon as you like swing your pickaxe against a wall you're gonna pull out your ar first or you're gonna have to double tap your button instead of just single tapping it so not only just for like a quality of life thing but also it's just better if your pump is able to be in the first slot and then your ar is in the last slot and then your smg is in the second slot I, I don't really know how else to describe it other than that it's just better than whatever you're probably using right now all right this third one is probably one of the hardest ones that i've seen people try to get used to but every single person that has got used to it has gotten better it is either getting paddles or learning how to play claw now this one is definitely the biggest like risk and reward thing because learning paddles and learning claw both take a bunch of time and i'm not personally qualified to teach any of you guys how to play claw because i don't play claw myself but every single person that i've known of that's either switched to claw or switched to paddles it has been a very very hard learning curve but they are always at least five times better after they do it so i mean i know if you guys do go take the time to like watch videos on how to play claw or like how to switch to paddles i know you guys will benefit from it i can promise you that all right number four is actually the practice maps that you play i know a lot of you guys just like to do 1v1 build fights but i think that is like the least effective method to actually improve on controller the things i would recommend you play is either realistic 1v1s or or box fights the reason why you want to play realistic 1v1s or box fights is starting off with realistic 1v1s they are usually just like the most realistic practice you can do in like in game scenarios because i know you do build up a lot in that but it is very more like mat conserving and things like that and then box fights in my personal opinion even in chapter 5 i still think for controller players it is one of the best things for people to actually practice because if you are on a controller you're going to have to play a lot more defensive because you're not going to be able to outbuild keyboard and mouse players most of the time so most of the time you're just going to be sitting in a box waiting for the uh, keyboard and mouse player to go like take your wall and then you're going to just be like in a box fight situation with them so if you're able to become a good box fighter on controller i really do believe that you will be one of the best defensive fighters in fortnite and you will 
will have a higher percentage chance of winning the fight and then my final tip here for you guys is just having that mentality that you are the best player and that nobody can beat you if you go into every fight thinking that a player is better than you and you're about to die to them you're literally never going to get better and you're never going to be able to win that fight but if you have that mentality that you are really one of the best players in the lobby and that nobody can really mess with you and no one's on the same level as you you are going to become so much better not only like as a fortnite player but just like in life in general you know just like being able to have that constant mentality that you are the best and not like being cocky but just having confidence in yourself is honestly in my opinion one of the best things you can do to improve in this game and in life in general so i mean a little bit of a life lesson there but i hope you guys enjoyed the video that's pretty much all for today's video if you guys enjoyed the video drop a like on the video if you didn't enjoy it drop a dislike i understand it's completely okay just got to the channel if you guys are new we're trying to hit 40,000 subs as soon as possible use coke dog in the fortnite item shop if you guys want to support me even more hope you guys enjoyed the video though because that's next time peace out